I welcome you to this moment around God's Word and prayer again today, and it's a very important week of prayer. We, as a church family at Central Assembly, are dedicating 15 days, two weeks and the Sundays on each end and the Sunday in the middle to concentrated prayer for our nation, concentrated prayer for the elections coming up. And we're tracking through that each day at this time. So thank you for joining with me. Uh, you will see at the centralhub.org our prayer guide for these two weeks. And you'll see for today, which is Wednesday, that we are praying that we will have discerning minds regarding the times we live in and how to respond to them as the people of God. You know, it says of the sons of Issachar in the Old Testament that they knew the times. They, they just had, they had a God-given intuition about the significance of the times, how to interpret their times, how to live the times. And this is what God's inviting us to do right now. Paul said in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 1, now, brothers and sisters, about the times and the dates, we do not need to write you, for you know very well that the day of the Lord will come like the thief in the night. We see evidence all around us right now that, that the second coming of Jesus is approaching. We, we see all of the pieces coming together globally for eventually uh, the great tribulation that will be upon our, our, our world and and, and the ultimate climax of the battle between good and evil. And we see the evidence that Jesus is coming back soon. And, 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 and thank God for, for that sense. We don't want to be ignorant of the times that we live in. And 1 Thessalonians 5, a little farther in that same chapter, in verse 8, since we belong to the day, let's be sober, let's put on faith and love as a breastplate, and, hope, and, the, and the hope of salvation as a helmet. So he picks up on this, this idea of, of the armor of God that's unpacked more fully for us in Ephesians chapter 6. And here in 1 Thessalonians 5, he says, Let, let's clothe ourselves with, with, with salvation and with, with faith. And, and let's be sober. Let, let's not be mindless or drunk or, 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 or just reckless in how we're viewing our world. But, but let's try to understand the times. So that's our prayer focus today as we pray for the understanding for our times and, and what our response as the people of God ought to be. So here we go. First of all, would you join me in prayer? Lord, we, we acknowledge with thanksgiving that the times and seasons are in your hands. Lord, we thank you that you're sovereign over the affairs of human beings. You give us free will. And yet, above our free will, you are preparing our world for the second coming of Christ. And you're answering the prayers of your church to intervene and to build your church and to preach the gospel while we have time. So we thank you, Lord, for, for the seasons and the times that are in your hands that you're shaping in our world today. We thank you. Our world's not totally out of control but you sovereignly are bringing history to an end. And Lord, as we move quickly along the timeline of preaching the gospel to the world, we, we seek your guidance, Lord, and we, we pray we'll be understanding of what your purposes are for our world right now. Uh, for those of us who attend Central Assembly, help us to know what your purposes for our church are in light of what you're doing right now in our nation and the world. And thank you, uh, above all other purposes, is to preach the gospel and to let people know about you. Help us to do this like never before. We pray for your wisdom to, uh, to avoid being distracted by all the false prophecies out there, all the conspiracy theories, all the distractions, all the things on social media that may detract from you building your church and you uh, advancing the gospel of Jesus Christ to every human being before the end of time. Give us wisdom regarding the issues and how to vote on the issues coming up, Lord. We, we, we pray we'll not be distracted, but aligned with your word for all of these things. And we ask for your Holy Spirit's empowerment, that while we have the opportunity, we will, sh we will, we will tell the people that we interface with each day and each week about the hope we have in Christ. My God, may this be a time where we're more courageous than we've ever been to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. Lord, beyond telling people how they should vote, Lord, help us to share the gospel of Jesus Christ and how they can have eternal life and how you died on the cross to forgive our sin and to make us new. Lord, just I pray that you'll open doors even today 
to share the, your faith, our faith with you, to talk to people about the reality of Christ and how he can change their lives. No matter what party they vote for, no matter what their background is, no matter what the problems in their lives are, we thank you you're able to step in to those moments. And so we trust you for this and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.